apparently here at JFK Airport, they're shooting an episode of Mr. Robot. I don't know if you can see the back of that chair. I'm not, well, I guess I can't zoom on this over here, but you can see the back of the chair. There are all this camera gear. Boy, I thought my backpack was heavy. Look at all the stuff that they have to wheel in here for, for a, a shoot, a TV production. But yeah, in the back of those chairs are all labeled Mr. Robot. I, I think that's a TV show, like a sci-fi TV show of some sort. Haven't seen it, but it's kind of cool. So all you know, the things you'll find at an airport when you have time to look. So while I'm killing time, I thought I'd have a little bit of fun and do a mini tech gear roundup of all the crazy stuff I'm bringing with me on this trip to Austria. My goal is to try to have as many different kinds of cameras and mics to accommodate who knows what kind of situations I might be in. So a um, couple things I want to share with you. The first one is this thing, which is actually not being made anymore. This is a this is a Midland kind of a sports camera. Take a look at this. It's got a waterproof housing. This is in the middle of charging it. Pull it out. Okay. What's really cool about this is that it's just um, it's, it's just a simple operation. It's uh, got a standard camera mount on the bottom. Uh, it uses micro SD cards. You basically just slide this, turn it on, and it'll all like start, start recording. Slide it back, and it stops. That's it. The very very bare bones function, and that's the whole point. It's like the GoPro, um, which I, you know the GoPro is you know everybody's favorite action cam, and this was one of them too. I, and I, I got this many years ago. I think they they made these back in oh my goodness, um, 2011, 13, something like that. Anyway, so the, the, I, the, well, I went to the website because I, you know, I found this, you know, hidden in one of my drawers, and I thought if if I take uh, Tim Oliver's suggestion and rent some bikes and try to ride around the Ringstrasse, you know, I'd be kind of cool to have some action shots, right, right from the handlebars, and uh, so that's why I, I pulled this up, and I was going on Midland's website, and to, they do have the manuals, but clearly they're not selling cameras anymore. So anyway, that's kind of cool. And I've been mentioning these Boya microphones, and of course I've got this right now, but I've actually got another pair, another set of Boya microphones, and this is what the name of the company is. And this one is actually a pair that has two, take a look at this, two lapels connected to one, yeah? So I can use this for, for interviews. What I like about this so much, look at the look at all the cabling I get. Like, I can really like I can stand apart if I, I'm using my standard camera on a tripod or having an interview. I have a lot of cable. This gives me a lot of distance. And the one I'm using now, I have it all wrapped up and tied because I, I don't need the length while I'm walking around. But if I needed to stand off with a tripod, I have plenty of room to do it. This cable is um, is one of the longest. And uh, anyway. Um, and as you can hear from the sound quality, it's really, really good. What's interesting about the boy is it comes in two power modes. It comes with off, oh, thank you so much. My margarita's here, yay! <laughs> so thirsty. Anyway, it comes, you can actually switch it off when you're using it with smartphones, or you can turn it on when you're plugging it into like a DSLR camera. Um, so it can be a powered microphone or a passive microphone. And it comes with a small, kind of like a watch battery. Um, that's the only thing I'm not crazy about, but I, I really love the fact that I can plug it. So it's not a standard battery, in other words. But I love the fact that I can don't I don't need to use the power when I'm using my 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 smartphone like I'm doing right now to shoot videos. I can just shoot it passively, and the microphone picks up really really well. And um, I've been really impressed so far. You know how clean. Excuse me. I, I need a sip of this. I really need a sip of this margarita. Ah, continuing on. Well, here's another really cool piece of gear right here. Now, one of the things I was really concerned about is power, you know, especially if I'm going to be walking around, uh, you know, doing an all-day shoot or, or just, you know, <laughs> spending 24 hours trying to figure out how to get another passport and all that stuff, right? So this is what I got. Look, take a look at this. This is called, this is a, let me get some of these cables out of the way here. This is the Jackery. Okay, it's, your, it's a power brick, but look at this. This is one of the only power bricks I've seen that has this. So I can plug in my MacBook, full outlets, and of course it has you know USB power as well. You can check the power level by pressing that button. I'm in the middle of charging this right now, but I thought that was cool. And one of the one of the things that they claim is that this is the one of the only this is TSA approved. And obviously I'm in I've gotten through security with this big 
big battery and it, it does work. So but I, I thought this was really, really cool. So if I, if I need to use my laptop someplace and I don't have power, my MacBook at this point is so old that it drains pretty fast. It's great to have that as an option if I needed to. So anyway, great, great power. It's a little heavy, but great power pack. Of course, I've got my camera. Okay. And I've got three lenses. This is the, the Canon M50 mirrorless DSLR. And right now, this is the new lens I just got. This is an 11, 11 to 22 millimeter uh, lens. So basically, this is going to be my wide angle lens. And this is what I really wanted because um, I want to be able to see a lot of the background as I'm walking around or, you know, whatever. But to have, uh, I have, I have a, a standard wide angle lens, but the problem is my older lenses are so heavy and I got, well, there's one more piece of equipment I need to pull out of my bag, but my old lenses are so heavy, they're not really practical to travel with. So with the M series, with these new Canon mirrorless cameras, the lenses, look, the body's a lot thinner, okay, for all of your camera buffs, and the lenses themselves are also a lot smaller, but, um, so it makes it much more travel friendly, blog friendly, and let me see if I can pull another piece of gear here. This is something, whoa, hello. Now, I've got a pretty crappy, little tripod that's I got because I don't know I just thought I would needed some kind of a try and it's not staying steady okay let's try that again here yep. see if I can steady that up all right well this tripod's bad because it doesn't have rubber legs but rubber feet I should say anyway I'm trying to pull out another thing here so I can do it without disturbing the camera all right so here you go so one thing I really wanted to try out was a gimbal okay so this is a gimbal by what's the name of this company again I forgot the name of the company. Uh, Red. Uh, it's by this company. <laughs> if anybody recognizes the logo, Red Dog. Sorry, Red Dog. Right. Okay. So this is the Red Dog R1. Okay. And I got this um, discounted as a demo model. And so, but the problem, you know, this is nice and compact. I was, I was seriously considering getting um, the DJ, DJ, the Digi. Uh, what do they call it? The, the, one of the one of the professional models is pretty expensive. And I was consi really considering getting that, but that thing's a monster. It's so big. This can actually fit in my backpack. So that's the one reason I went with this. It's not 100% compatible with my camera. So I mean, in other words, I can't use the the only things I can't use are the record and the picture buttons on this. But you know, I'll just turn it on on the camera. But in terms of the balancing, it looks great. It works really, really well, as long as I keep the camera under a certain weight. I think the maximum weight that this thing can handle is five pounds. And of course, the, I'm getting to learn the art of balancing gimbals. It's, a, it's quite interesting, but um, I've got that going. But I also have this thing. This is what I've been actually using a lot ever since I was starting this uh, little vlog adventure <laughs> with all my disasters. And I've been just holding this, putting my, uh, I have a smartphone clip mount and I just put my phone camera in this, hold it out and shoot myself. And this is what I've been using. And of course, what's great about it is you have these arms that can do all, this is the Gorilla Pod, by the way. I think it's called the Gorilla Pod. And you can just move these arms and shape them around. I'm thinking maybe I'll put this on my handlebars when I'm driving, using my bike. And, but I can also use this as a tripod, which I should probably be using as a tripod now. But I've got this little pocket tripod thing, but not worth, it's, it's just something, it's something that somebody was, uh, willing to sell to me for cheap because nobody was buying it but anyway so i've got this this is great now i understand why so many vloggers that i see in these travel videos are using this they they, they a lot almost everybody uses this thing so this is this is really terrific but oh one more thing i've got this idea from laurie frazier who is excuse me why hmm. stress is much better when you have a margarita okay I'm borrowing this idea from Lori Frazier. She is this genius of digital clavinovas, uh, digital pianos from Yamaha, and um, all the ins and outs of using them. And we were at a trade show together, and she was showing me her wire bag. And it's, it was a lot smaller than mine, but I thought, well, that's a great idea. So I found an old um, toiletries bag, and I, this has now become my wire bag. I, I put my, my wire all my cables my plugs adapters got my international adapters up here um, i've got my sd cards in here and basically instead of having a having all the spaghetti of my cables inside my bag i can just keep it a little bit more organized and a little bit easier to find so 
Um, any, all, you know, whenever you're traveling with gear. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Um, getting ready for some food. So anyway, what, that's a, that's a quick look at some of the gear. I think that's most of the major stuff. Oh, I've got a few. I've got a, a, other professional microphones, but who knows? They may not even come into play. I'm, I'm just. I brought them. Uh, I brought my. Um, well, I might as well pull this out since we've got all the gear we're showing off here. I've got my Zoom H6, okay? And I've got, I brought the attachment along too, so if I want to just do some acoustic mic. This is just in case I go to the Busendorfer factory and I get an opportunity to play some pianos or, you know, want to capture the sounds of some instruments. I want to get some good audio quality. Um, I can either capture it with these XLR attachment microphones here or I brought some cabling and I can use my professional piano microphones. Again, it's all just in case. I may end up not even using this, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, that's my studio in a bag. Can you believe this all fits into one backpack? Pretty cool, eh? Anyway, so this is how I'm killing time by creating tech review videos and tech gear videos. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy my margarita and uh, hopefully the rest of my food will come out and I'm gonna just uh, I'm, by the way, I'm here at a restaurant called Mikasa Cantina. Mikasa Cantina. So, uh, ordered some. What did I order? Ordered some street corn with smothered with cojita cheese and chili lime sauce. That sounds really good. As well as carnitas queso. Uh, hey, yes. I, I'm sorry. Is this the? Carin yep, that's me. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh, this looks really good. Here, I'll show you what I'm eating. But look at this. This is the carnitas. This, like, a slow pulled pork in a quesadilla. Ooh, that looks really, really good. And check this out street corn with cheese and chili lime sauce. It's a, it's a lot of food. This is going to put me to sleep. Hope I don't fall asleep and miss my next flight. Anyway, so I'm going to enjoy that plus my margarita. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.